Welcome to the new Tech Yes Studio, and here it is, finally complete, at least to the stage where I can now work here. And I gotta say, before we get on to this video, big thank you to all you guys who watch the videos, hit that like button, support the channel, and also a special thank you to the patron viewers as well. This is what I've been working so hard for in the last year to complete and just get everything ready. And here it finally is, the new studio, and the content is now gonna be coming out in mass, so get your sub boxes ready. But this is the massive vlog of completing the studio. So let's get on with it. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. Today is the final vlog for the construction of the new Tech Yes studio. And we've got to essentially lay all the carpet down and then install all the desks, get all the hardware down here, and set everything up. So this is gonna be quite a bit of work still to go, but I'm sure you guys just wanna see us get into it and start finishing this thing off. So this hole here, it has to be filled up with mortar and the outsides, we've gotta drop a bucket of water on that just to make sure there's no more leaks coming in. And then we are ready to lay the carpet. So now behind me is this little concrete room and we've actually cleaned all this out and I've put four little shelves in here that are already lying around. So I'm gonna put a lot of uh, products in there that sort of don't really get used that much, but I could use them if I need to do a build or if I just need products that I'm searching for from time to time. So they'll be like, this will be like a storage room for all the stuff that rarely gets used. But let's get the streaming desk down. Yeah, now we're gonna be using two 24 inch monitors on this monitor arm and a 32 inch IPS monitor for the subject. So when we're live streaming, since the co-host of course is not gonna be anywhere near me, we're gonna to have to sort of make do. And now um, I know Gordon from PC World uses a monitor for their subject on their live show, and they've got an extremely good channel. So this monitor here is gonna be awesome once we set that up, along with these two BenQ monitors. <laughs> So there it is, uh, that's the basic look of the stream desk. Obviously lighting has to get a bit of improvement because I'm only using the top lights there and they're in a weird configuration as it is, but that's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have the subject on the right and then you're gonna have the two monitors where i am uh, got all the details for the stream. And then I'll be just in that spot there. So there it is guys, stream setup, all ready to go. I just gotta, of course, connect all the monitors up to the rig and then decorate the background with some sound tiles and the YouTube silver play button too. So also another thing that you guys noticed from a previous vlog was this view behind me. And yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. We live about 15 minutes out from town on a like a peak mountain. And yeah, it's just so nice up here. It's really peaceful and quiet. And of course the view is really beautiful. I'll let you guys take a quick look. So in here is kind of like gonna be a storage room, a little bit of storage. We actually had to pull out a heap of wood and you can maybe even see it at the end there. Um, the wood was like stuck to the concrete. Dad man forgot to pull all this out. So that was a massive mission, uh, pulling all that out in itself. And we actually damaged the walls inside here doing so, but... So now it's time to build the uh, little shelf cabinet for 
this area here, and we got this from Officeworks for about 240 Aussie dollars. So let's build this and get on with the show. I stayed awake last night Cause I couldn't close my eyes And see you another night I drove myself crazy thinking you take my wildest dreams And tear them all to the ground So I tried to create A decoy world for you To destroy So there we have it, that's the shelf now, the white shelf with the white drawers in there and that's gonna be really cool now for organization. Oh yeah! And we've got the two power points on the right there just fitting absolutely fine. So I'll probably be getting two six uh, outlet boards and then have a total of 12. That'll be for all the camera battery charges and everything else that's sort of utility. So we set up the TV over there, it is all done, it just needs a little bit more work, uh, just especially underneath the TV, I need to raise it a little bit, so I'll probably get some foam tiles just for that, and then probably put a sound bar right in front of that. But... So now next up here we got tables, we picked this up off Gumtree for 10 bucks, it's got like black and red legs, uh, it's a really weird colour, so I actually have a bottle of white spray paint that I never used in a previous video. I think I was going to spray some heat sinks up. So I'll use that and this will be the bench for outside here for when I do the outside B-roll. Uh, so I need a camera for outside and that'll be the one where I can get the shots and if it gets weathered it's $10 so it really doesn't matter if it gets uh, beaten up. But another desk we've got here is this one here. We picked this up off Gumtree for 180 Australian dollars absolutely crazy good deal because the wood itself is so nice this is going to be a really good sort of build desk it's really sturdy and it's a really cool pattern for building i think so uh, one problem with it though is that the height it only goes up to around 60 centimeters so i do want to raise it about 20 centimeters so i'll have to put wood underneath the legs and that'll also help it not eat into the carpet so much because it kind of does have metal sharp legs there and then uh, on top we can put another piece of wood and that should raise it up uh, 200 mil and give us about that 800. Perfect height for building, I think.
All right, so there's the B-roll table there. It's uh, a little bit dark. It's actually overcast at the moment. And there's a guy outside with a lawnmower as well, so I'm just shooting quickly inside. But yeah, $10, guys. And that's gonna be shooting products outside. You can still see it's a little bit wet, but that'll be for the outside product shoots. And if the desk gets uh, damaged from weather outside, then again, $10, it's nothing to lose, really. So here's the build desk, it is now complete and this is where the B-roll and also the building of computers and everything else in between is going to be conducted. So maybe let's just take a bit of B-roll of this Corsair 570X that has no panels on it at all and see how that turns out. So now here's the uh, new Tech Yes sofa. We got this on, on a deal. They were asking around 1400 Australian for it. I dropped them down, I bargained them down to 1200, baby. This has got a chase in it, but the good thing about the chase is that it acts like a bed on this sofa. So I'll be able to sleep down here when I'm doing those busy nights. If it's benchmarking new products or whatever, and I'm just so tired. I'll just crash out on the Yes sofa and then get back to work. So there's a the couch there, it is looking mighty fine. Uh, the exact positioning, I'm still gonna think about all that. It does look a little bit awkward in the position. The TV's not center and it's really close to that wall and there's no real sort of exact entrance etiquette there. So there we have it, there's the two shelves done and I don't know if I'm gonna move them over a little bit to the left and then have maybe a filing cabinet to the right and then move these couches a little bit away from that door but here is the big mess so far, like damn, all these boxes. But the good thing is now that these shelves are done, I can now put all those products sitting over there, the motherboards uh, on this shelf here because inside here, We've got a heap of products still. So there's a few products there and that's, they're all in the shelves. So lots of different things in there and it's pretty dark. So, and there's actually no light in here at the moment either. So still gonna put a light inside this little storage room, but still it's holding all the products. So here we are early morning and we've got the sound tiles now. So today I wanted to put up some of these 
uh, sound tiles on the walls. Uh, but I might just start with this red part in the background there first. And then after that, uh, I'll probably put the ones on the roofs, the white ones. But the uh, black tiles are really thick. They're actually really nice quality. Um, the one upstairs, the white ones, they feel really thin and flimsy. So, I mean, technically they should all work really well for um, reducing echo and reverb. But in terms of um, the better panel to touch and feel, these black ones definitely are thick and they definitely feel a lot better than those white ones. But anyway, what we're going to do here is uh, stick some cardboard, two stripes of cardboard on each of these. And then after that, we can put the double sided tape on those two stripes of cardboard. And this will allow us to stick it to the walls where we want it. And of course, get the uh, sound tiles not falling off the wall. So there's the black sound tiles there. Absolutely phenomenal, good quality. I'll put the link in the description below for those because they're really good. That was a good buy. These white ones here, however, I've, I'm getting nervous about them because you can see some of them will need a wilder shape and I'm actually worried that they might not even shape like full, you know, become a full flat square so I can actually stick them on the roof. So, I mean, I'll give these a day. If they don't shape properly within a day, I'm gonna get pretty angry. And this one here as well, this one became pre-yellowed. I don't know how that happened, but uh, some people were warning me about the white sound tiles becoming yellow in the comment section, but I figured because I was gonna put them on the roof, they really wouldn't see hardly any sunlight at all, at least direct sunlight. And so I think they should be fine on the roof, but again, we've got those previous problems that I mentioned, and that is if they'll even shape. So we'll come back to these. So here's the Corsair T1 race and I've had this for a while now and I requested the white and black one. It looks really nice in my opinion and also it is super comfortable. Of course, the downside being that it is actually quite expensive for a chair. However, uh, on that note, it is just really comfortable. I'd say out of all the gaming chairs I've tried, for a guy like me, five foot 10, this thing just melds into you. It is extremely comfortable. I'd say if you um, about six foot one and under, this chair is going to be really nice for you. If you're a really tall guy, if you're a beast and you're feasting all the time, like six foot four, this chair is probably too small for you. Um, but it's super comfortable. This lumbar support here is working really well too. Uh, it's just, it's a really nice chair, really easy to set up. And also sorry to Corsair as well. They sent this chair out a while ago to me and it just took me a long time. I was just moving houses and now obviously moving down to the studio. And also I feel like I wasn't worthy of this chair. It's just so good. Uh, me working out of a shoebox, it just didn't do this chair justice. But now in the new studio, this chair is going to be the main bread and butter for when I'm editing videos. Well, actually, a Premiere Pro on the main editing rig is going to be the bread and butter for that. But this thing's going to be awesome support. So here is now the build desk. This is gonna be huge. I think about five meters in total. This will allow me to have an edit rig, uh, two different benchmark rigs, and of course, things like the uh, PC build of the month can go on the end here. So the problem we've had, we've put all the brackets on. That was pretty uh, straightforward, but the problem we had was the walls not perfectly flush. So we've had to like literally cut 
so many cuts this way and this way to sort of give it a slightly odd angle so everything will be flush in the end so that is this coming along now now also with the sound tiles we've got three of them just as a test subject set up and they're, they're working really well so we're going to put decorations in the middle of all three of that uh, but the black ones as i said before they're really good the white ones are sort of sort of coming to take shape but i mean i'm just really the the black sound tiles these ones here they're just so much better i recommend buying these over those uh the pattern you see on those white ones they're just those white ones are so flimsy like they just ah, mistakes and also here we've got the uh speakers set up in all four corners of the room and they are looking pretty good they just fit especially this one up here it just managed to fit you can probably see a little bit of speaker wire hanging out there and we've got the last piece here the uh, base unit and the amp that'll go down there just underneath the table and the center speaker will go right there i've still got to figure out how to hook up the center speaker i'm probably going to do that last as i'm not sure where the main i think the main build the main editing station will go here with the nas beside it and I've just got to see how it all works out so I can get my center speaker flush with where I'm going to be sitting. So now we're just outside doing some woodworking here in the $10 desk. This thing has actually come in more handy than I thought it ever would. So we're using it as like a work desk outside so all the debris doesn't fly back in. But here it is here. Right now we're going to put some holes underneath the desk to connect all the three pieces of wood together. So that can sit flush and then give us that final screw off okay so we can finally fit the desk and of course move those PCs down. So here it is guys, phase one of the Tech Yes Studio is now complete. We've got the desks in, five meter editing desk. I even managed to have some spares left over for another standing desk. So there's just a lot more things now to give you guys better content, keep delivering the content. And also we still have to do a bit of work. Like I'm pretty sure I'll be putting sound tiles up there and then above that another shelf, but that's all in due time. I can now bring my computer down here. But before we do that, I have to start cleaning up because there's actually a big mess here. And also gotta say thank you to two special people as well who have helped us with this studio. So first up, we've got Dadman. You guys probably have seen him on the channel a lot before. Do you have anything you have to say to the viewers? Yeah, I do. It's finally over and done with it. <laughs> <laughs> so this took us over a good week to complete pretty oh, much, definitely. like from, uh, from the last phase, from the part 2.5. Yeah. So we've done a lot of work. We spent a lot of hours in this studio. It's now complete. And we've got, uh, so a big thank you to Dadman. He's the best. Look, I'll give him a big kiss too. Oh. Mwah. Next up, we got Shan, aka Shan for the fam. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything you have to say to the viewers before we go? Tech yesterday, bros. So here it is guys, right behind me, the new Tech Yes Studio is complete, at least the initial stage, and it costs all up about $16,000 so far. So that's from empty concrete, filthy room, to what you see behind me, all the shelves and desks and couches, everything included. So Dabin and I together, we've saved a lot of money on this studio, it's been huge. Uh, I'd say easily like $20,000 if you had to pay everyone to come in, go do the stuff, set everything up. So I guess that's what it's all about, Tech Yes City, the hustle. And it's not just on the job as well, it's behind the scenes as well too. Always hustling, always getting the best deals. And even on parts in this studio as well, I got the best deals too. So some more things that have to go down with this studio, of course, I've ordered some aircon in, I got a deal on that as well. 7.1 kilowatt Panasonic air conditioner, 
got to do on that, got to get it installed, and some blinds as well, vertical blinds, because the vertical blinds allow you to control the light. So I'll need that as I love using sunlight in the shots. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new studio. If there's any ideas you want to see happen, because there's going to be a lot of transforming going on with this place in the next couple of months too. This is only the preliminary blueprint of what's going to happen with this studio. But basically guys, get your sub boxes ready because there's just going to be a lot of content coming to you guys in the next few months or 2018 is going to be crazy and i'll catch y'all in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye so now a quick walk through the studio there's got some cases i'm going to use uh soon uh, very soon got the lg oled tv got the couch for that these are foam tiles they actually kind of are after two days they're sort of starting to form so I guess I'll give them another two days and see if they can flatten out. Uh, like some of them have kind of flattened out well. So we'll give them a chance, except that yellow one there, that's like bin worthy already. Uh, then we've got here the shelves. So got a lot of used motherboards. Uh, this will be in an episode of Can Yes Fix It as well. Look forward to giving you guys that. Uh, just so many cool things I'm gonna use, of course, the EVGA X58. That is gonna be in a build as well, custom build. All these promises as well, they're all gonna be fulfilled. So stay tuned, that's the, shelves of, that's the shelf of promises pretty much. And then we've got here, of course, there's a beautiful view out there. And there's two sliding doors for the view. Got the build desk. Of course, we built this for a massive deal. That was crazy. And we've got the standing desk, got that super cheap as well. All the sound tiles, actually got them on a deal as well. So just deals, deals, deals. Got the up here, this is what I'm gonna be working off until I decide where the uh, actual monitor arms are gonna go on the walls. So I'm gonna be wall mounting two 34 inch monitors. Uh, and then over there will be the benchmark rigs. And then of course, PC of the month build over there. Got the surround sound set up. It sounds absolutely amazing. When I do a studio tour, when, I'm, when I've finished this studio, like there's lots more plans here. I'll give you guys a studio tour and let you hear what this sound system sounds like. But it's pretty much a nightclub in this small area here. And I had surround sound in Japan and it sounded really awesome too. So over here, stream desk. I'm thinking uh, after initially setting this up, this monitor here, I'll probably downsize to like a 24 inch monitor because the 32 inch monitor just doesn't go well on this desk. So uh, sound tiles at the back, decorating. Over here, organization shed. There it is there. All the stuff's pretty much been filled already, but at least now I'm really organized. I've even got little labels on the drawers as well. So that's organization 101. And that's the whole studio, guys. That's pretty much ready to go. Oh, and we can't forget about the $10 build desk, even though Dadman did take a big chunk out of it already. <laughs> so <laughs> I think this desk actually saved his whole hand because when he was chopping, the blade went up and if it probably wasn't for this desk, he might have chopped his hand off. So $10 desk, guys. Never give up on it.